Hello there friends and welcome back to the next part of Let's Play The Witcher 3. Uh, last time we uh, actually did manage to uh, rekindle an old flame, so to speak. Uh, and now this time, I think we'll do some Witcher contracts. Uh, but first, there is a uh, treasure out here in the water, probably around that ship. But uh, I will meet you guys when I get around this question right here. And then we'll go up to this island here and knock those two out since we're so close and nothing else all around. So, be right back. Alrighty, we're back, and it looks like we have some treasure here, smuggler's cash, and luckily no drowners around to pester us about it, so. Yeah, I got some assassin's trousers, those are neat, but nothing too special. I don't know if we'll be sticking with my griffin gear very much longer, until we get it upgraded anyway. But the uh, other question mark should be right over here on this island, it's actually not on this shipwreck. Like I thought it was. So let's see what we have here. Captain's log and something that screeched. Hello. Let me read this before it goes away. Left Novigrad, heading south to Bremivord. All's calm. Arrived in Bremivord, port's full. Uh, four hulks, six cogs. One Karak and nigh on a dozen longships. Strange, near half the longships carry privateers in the Emperor's employ. Now, what's old Nilfgaard want a pirate fleet for? And why is she anchored in Bremivord? Uh, done loading, all passengers on board. We're leaving Bremivord. Course set for Novigrad. Strange, I'm a mage paid through the nose to share a cabin with the Witcher. Freaks are drawn to each other, it seems. That Witcher's a real treasure. It's not just a about monsters, even customs officers are more civil with Kian around, and they aren't as annoyingly scrupulous as usual. Seems the legends surrounding our Witcher have curtailed their zeal. Pressure's falling rapidly, winds changing directions. Could use that mage now. Uh, one that followed the Witcher like a shadow. But two of them are nowhere to be found, cowards. The two of them, okay. Uh, Boatson says that he's heard a terrible ruckus on the witch's uh, cabin this morning, with bright flashes coming out under the door. Been quiet ever since. Must investigate. Their cabin's empty. Can't search the ship now. Need to reef the sails. We won't make it to port. We must stay out at sea. Uh, we'll raise the stay sails and hope the gods watch over us from here. And I guess that's what happened to him. Hello? You a cockatrice or something like that? Basilisk, okay. Let me switch over to Ard. Time to stun her right there, just before the poison spit come out. Come on, go down. It's just a matter of time. There we go. And venom in the hide. Okay, not bad. And what do we have in your nest here? Long claw, huh? Are we in Game of Thrones now? Ah, uh, shit, I'm over, I'm over encumbered here now, too. Let me check out this weapon here, though, if I can. Look at all those swords and crap that I have. Where'd Longclaw go? Is that Longclaw? Nice. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, it's not Wolf. Doesn't have as much piercing. A lot more base damage, though. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. myself here. Hello. I guess I can't. Okay. Well, it looks cool enough. Not not as cool as Wolf. But it's got to be replaced sometime. And let me drop some things here to free up some space. Alrighty, though, now that that's done, uh, let's go over here to the nearby the Glory Gate and do the Witcher contract for the White Lady. So I'll meet you guys when we get a little bit closer to that uh, marker there. Be right back. Okay, here we are. Approaching that quest marker. Hello, Helma. Yeah, the White Lady is a problem, eh? Some ghost to you. The White Lady. As I hoped. 
I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. Hmm. So she's in the so fields. The white lady haunts your fields. True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folks say she's made her home there. Okay, and what about this band? band? Who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothings all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plow the white lady. Maybe oh. then she'd bugger off. Romantics. Hmm. Seems the white lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk were afraid to bury them. Hmm. So, will you save us from her? That's not sanitary. Uh, yeah, let's talk about, uh... White lady can wait. Let's talk about my pay first. The money. Alright, so up to 530. Let's go 500... Or, I'm sorry, 353. Not 500, good grief. Well, let's try a bonus of 35. Oh, so be it. I can toss in that bit. Alright. So yeah, yeah I'll, I'll I'm all yours. Using more effective means than brave Miko. Well, I mean, depends on how living this white lady is. You are the white wolf, after all. So let me see here. What do we have? Here's the tower in the distance. Seems to be going too afraid to get somewhat close. These guys are harvesting the... I guess these are apple trees. Kind of apple blossomy. Okay. So these fields here looks like... Oh, hello. No, that's just plants. There they are. Yeah, it didn't Whatever go so well for you, huh? Before he died, gave him quite a scare. What it makes you say that? Is he like stuck like the body's dried to a crisp? The Sons ring or whatever it's called. Noon wraith did this. Okay. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. Expected to see four bodies. Mm-hmm. Deep uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly in a panic. Okay. So let's see where they went off to. They run towards the tower, I wonder. Looks like we're headed that way. Wanna explore the tower? Yep. Kinda thought as much. Where are these tracks going though? Ooh, that's blood. The trail leads to the cellar. Okay. What over here? Oh, poor doggy. He deserved better. Anything of use over here? Okay, I'm down here. Oh, there's the poor bastard. Missing a leg though. Almost dragged the body downstairs. Oh. But it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale. Cracked. Hmm. All signs point to a noon wraith. Okay. She's avoiding me. Gotta find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Okay, well, let's go and track down a memento of sorts. Uh, probably back in that town someplace. Oh, are these ghouls that drag the guy back? Coming out in the evening sun, are ya? Are you down there this whole time? Hey, buddy. There. That'll teach you for being so noisy. Alright, so I will meet you guys back at that town, and we can find a, a keepsake of sorts. Okay, here we are back at the contract issuer. Do you know more about this white lady? Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means... God's poor Lucy. You did know her, okay. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure. Older and more brittle than elven ruins. Mm. Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields. Where she slashed her veins. Jesus. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Are you her mom or something like that? How do you know her and two, why do you have the dagger? Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it. No. Nope. Bury it even. They left it in my care. 
What's your relationship with her then, if you aren't her parent? I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. That's that's the plan. Alright, and back to the tower we go. I'll meet you there. Alright, here we are back at the campsite. And I guess we're going to be oh, using yeah. this to... Moon wraiths never come out after dusk. Thank you, Geralt. So let's meditate until noon. That's midnight, isn't it? There we are. She's awful angry. We're going to burn this silver dagger. Or is she just going to come on out? There she is. Hello, gorgeous. Beautiful as the day of your wedding, huh? All right. I did attach some Spectre Oil before this fight, so it should go easier. I should be able to split. Hope you're enjoying the show over there, farmer. It don't help or anything. It's just dangerous for you. Come on. Damn it. I forgot that they uh, regenerate so much. Automatic death save kicked in there. Come on, back to my trap. There we go. Need to make Erden bigger, I think. Dr. Doss. Dethwen and the Noon Wraith trophy. Okay. Let's check out Dethwen. Oh, it's a silver sword, but not as nice as Malgrim, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, not quite. Let's just see what it looks like, though. I like the, like, Thunderbolt kind of design on the, um, cross guard. But this one looks, this one just looks sweet, right, as it is with the runes that I have in it. Speaking of runes, before I forget, I need to drop some of these things. I just dropped my sword, though, so I gotta pick that back up. Let me put some runes back on this steel weapon here. Armor piercing, so we can make up for some of that we lost. Adrenaline point, freeze, or poison. I'll go with adrenaline point. I'll pick up that again. There we go. Alright, now back we go to the town. I need to remember to find a merchant there too, if possible. Alright, here we are. Greetings, Witcher. Hello. Problem your, solved. Your friend is all Go gone. Back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. Thank you. That was that. Nice, short, simple Witcher contract. No problem. Alright, and also we leveled up. Let me do that real quick here. Just put this one up again. Five points. Alright, and then next, I think we'll just continue down, going down this until we get Whirl. Um, getting real close to being able to do that, so... Uh, next up, let me figure out what quest I want to go after. I think probably this the play is the thing. Uh, just to get some more story progress done. So I'll meet you guys around this point and I'll sell my stuff on the way over. So I'll be right back. Oh, hello. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Oh. You can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Uh, I don't have one. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. Wow. Oh. But where? Not your concern. Back to your post. Well, neat. Uh, I assume someone helped me out there. Guards from Siggy Ruben. Oh, hey, I was Siggy. All right, well, that was neat. Uh, I'm just stopping by my stash here to stop. Uh, 
holding on to all these legendaries. So, I'll be right back. Here, a smithy here. What do you have on offer? Okay. Danian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. I thought this was a smith. Why is this? A vat gun in my establishment. Okay, this has turned out to be more than I thought it was. I'm gonna have to cut back here. You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about forty inches long. Uh, you can tell that from the backside. You must be Ibir Hatori. Ah, indeed, I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. Yeah. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dump? I want swords, man. Not food. I guess I'll try one. I won't tell it. Turn down free food. Smith making dumplings in his forge. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? So apparently he's a good cook, I guess? Alright. Uh, I want swords. Looking for a good swordsmith. No Is one. he not one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Hmm. Apparently not. Really? It's Gave it up for dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. I guess a lot of people need food, but only certain people need swords. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. You literally did greet me with dumplings, though. It's kind of too late for that. But okay. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Is it premium quality? It, it doesn't really look that impressive. Those swords kind of look cool, arranged like that. But you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Hmm. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. There's some mafia shit going on here. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. That name does sound Frequently. familiar, Van Horn. Uh, so what? You tried negotiating? Making a deal? Yeah. With Van Horn? You jest. He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm. I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? No, that's not gonna work. Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? I mean, in exchange for your services... Sure. Want me to help you get you supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars men. Okay, he's right. a friend of ours, right? King wouldn't worry about an embargo cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. Oh. I thought you might help That's me That's kind of scummy of him. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I choose something from your collection? No, I want you to make new oh, stuff for me for free. Rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. Better. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. <laughs> he must be taught a lesson. Did that take you all week to think of that one? Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. What, are you serious? That'd be cool for um, Karamoran. Fine. Get some Arrange siege equipment and stuff. Yeah. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Alright, well, cool. So we got a new quest out of that, of swords and dumplings. But uh, I think we'll do that s uh, next time. Uh, we're still going to go and God, I'll meet you guys over at Priscilla. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Priscilla should be upstairs here. 
And I can tell her that uh, we learned some more things about Dudu. Oh, no, that's too far. I forget she's back here. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna take your water. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? Hmm. You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Hmm. How long have you even known him? Known Dudu long. For them, I, I guess. This might sound strange, but I can't be sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. Hmm. Okay. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. We certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Okay. So... Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Oh, Not okay. Idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. Okay. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Um, I don't. I'm right. don't have any experience, but start writing the play. Any Let's... ideas for the plot? Ah. Uh... Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear hmm. and naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along. Uh, yeah. More or less. That'll do. <laughs> now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story. That would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit. And the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide. And can only count on the help of his friend. Who's a witcher. Who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter? No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? It's a little bit on the nose. We need something different. Let's keep thinking. That seems a bit too fresh. Right, you are. Wait, give me a minute. I got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But. At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Uh. Do I get a say in any of this? Will I get a say in any of this? Or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well. You must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. I mean, Actually, sure. You play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. Okay. So, we what's the title then? Title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation. 
and a changeling rescued or the witch's triumph. Which do you prefer? I was thinking the wolf and the flower, but you know, um, uh, uh, I Doppler salvation. Let's go with I guess the Doppler salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem: no Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Uh, yeah, comedy. The uh, witcher saving a... Comedy is the safer option. Yeah. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Yeah, I think, Sarah, uh... Wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. <laughs> just keep quiet. Done. You wrote a whole play in a few hours. Had a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? What a dumbass. I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Okay. Well, let's do it. Where are you going? That's a place of culture, not a trough. For swine to trudge to. This is where Madame Arena's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No uh, performance. Said so yourself. Yeah. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? It'll be. Need a ticket. <laughs> I can't mind control him. Ah, whatever. Fifty bucks. Yeah, there we go. One. Here, just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful these mamas in rehearsal. All right. So we needed to pay that guy to get through that door. Hello, Madame Marina. Can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No. No. But I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Want to save his life, actually. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. Can you cop me the price of that ticket? How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo -doo recently. S Dandelion's in trouble. I'll just say it straight, straight up. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did He's he suggest probably a die, man's gonna die. wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? Put on a play, you dummy. I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Uh, um, I guess. How do I help you with publicizing? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. 
Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. What's a body hose? See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Okay, what about ushers? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butchers' knives, and bricks, actually. Jesus. All right. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Okay, get some swarthy seamen to Thanks be our help. bouncers. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. All right, cool. Well, I think that will be where I've we end this uh, session for now. Do have to cut this one a little bit short, but I will see you guys uh, soon. So until next time, see ya.